Great show for you guys today. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah. Let me hear you get louder. Let's make some noise. Get louder, you guys. You guys are in for a real special treat, you guys. This next young lady, you guys, she currently has a comedy special going on on YouTube. You got to call. Yes, I can. Give her a Miss Chelsea Gross. Hello, hello. Nice to be here, y'all. I, uh, I took the bus here because I'm waiting on God's blessings. Uh, let me tell you, when God says his time, he means his time, okay? All right? I was like, I'd be praying to God. I'm like, all right, Lord. You know, we all don't live as old as Abraham, okay? <laughs> Abraham lived till 200. We tap out at 80. I need these blessings to hurry up. Been on the bus a while. It's stressful taking the bus. Um, you know, there's always crazy characters on there. I was uh, taking the bus recently, and as soon as I got on, this guy starts yelling at me. He's like, you dirty N-word, you dirty B, get off the bus. And it's funny, because every time he called me dirty, a waft of dust would just fly off his body, right? <laughs> just, just dust, sand, sediment. I was like, what sediment? We're in downtown LA. Where did the sand come from, sir? He's dirty. So. I go to the bus driver, I'm like, driver, you know, this man, he's calling me an N and a B, can you kick him off the bus? He said, well, ma'am, I can't kick a guy off for, you know, using the alphabet, right? <laughs> so I said, well, you know, he's, he's also not wearing a mask. He said, he's not wearing a mask. Oh, well, get off the bus. <laughs> get off the bus, sir. Get off the... And that's how we're going to end racism, okay? We're just going to talk about ain't wearing a mask. <sighs> It's been a long quarantine. Yeah, I will say that um, I do think that the masks help dating a lot during quarantine, right? Okay? <laughs> Didn't they help? Because before the mask, you know, it could take you a long time to see someone's true character. You get distracted by their lips, you know, cheekbones, right? Ladies, I don't stay with a dude because he had a strong jawline. I'm like, oh, you look like you could be down there for a while, okay? <laughs> All right, come on, jawline. <laughs> yeah. But now, you know, with the mask, you see the eyes, which are the window to the soul. So now you see the insanity immediately. You're like, oh, a demon? Oh. Like, oh, oh, no. Beelzebub? I thought I rebuked you in 89. I'm back, I'm back. Just these masks. Because women, we, you know, women, we got to be real careful who we, like, let, you know, enter inside our bodies, right? Because a lot of dudes, you know, when they are enter inside of you, they're leaving all these spirits. And a lot of dudes ain't healed, okay? So you wonder why you at Starbucks and there's a girl going, I said almond milk. And you're like, ooh, you all right, girl? Sorry, that wasn't me. That was Charles. That was Charles. <sighs> from 92. I'm still not healed. I'm still not healed. <sighs> away from me. Away from me. <laughs> Just... You gotta be careful. These dudes will possess you. <laughs> you will get possessed. Uh, I, I actually gained some weight during the uh, pandemic. Uh, yeah, thank you. Now, I, knew, I knew a black man was gonna support that, you know. I love black men, right? I told that joke in Inglewood. All the brothers were like, oh yeah, gain some more weight, girl. I got some ribs in the back, some steaks, girl. I got some potatoes. Put some more weight on. I tell a white crowd I gain weight. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Because, you know, white people love weight loss, okay? That is their thing. I told a white girl I lost an ounce. She was like, oh, my gosh, girl, me too. I said, no, girl, I lost an ounce of weed. That's a, that is a problem. Get on them knees, girl. Help me search under the chair. It might be under the chair. It might be under you. Come on, Virginia. Let me get the weed. It's under there. <laughs> Now, so we, uh, so I, I gained all this weight, right? And I didn't realize how much weight I had gained until I went to the corner store. I live in a Latino neighborhood, and they are muy honesto, okay? And I got to the get to the store, and she's like, "Oh, mija, oh, how far along are you? How far along, right?" I was like, you know, it's a hard way to find out that you don't gain weight in pounds; you gain it in trimesters, you know. <laughs> I was on my second, but she was on her 12th, uh, so. And there's a lot of side effects that happen to your body when you gain weight quickly. Like, I got a ton of stretch marks all over my body, right? And not those cute stretch marks, 
And I hate when my super skinny friends are like, oh my God, Chelsea, we all have stretch marks. And they looked at their shirt to reveal this erased pencil lines, right? And I'm telling them, like, girl, I have Google Maps on my hips and thighs, okay? <laughs> when I look at my body, I gotta tell my stretch marks to stop rerouting, all right? I'm like, you turn, you turn, avoid highways, please. <laughs> and my shoulders, Lord. So, I, uh, I called my mom for advice. Big mistake, never call the woman you gave stretch marks to for stretch mark empathy, okay? <laughs> and my mom from Detroit, too, she been through real things. So she was like, no. Nah. But I called her and said, Mom, I got all these stretch marks. I don't know what I'm going to do. She said, girl, you need to stop tripping about them daggone stretch marks, girl. There's folks walking around these streets that ain't got no skin. I said, Mama, who do you know walking around with no skin, having coffee and conversation? Then I realized, you know, if skinless people existed, racism would end that day, all right? Anybody that's scared of black people be way more scared of skinless folks, all right? Let some skinless people run through Beverly Hills, okay? They'll be like, honey, are those skinlesses? Oh, no. Get the blacks over here. Call Compton, call Watts, please. <laughs> call the woods. <laughs> Even if someone is scared of black people, they always hire us to be security, right? <laughs> it's always a big black man that's security, every business. You go up, he's like, all right, it'd be $75 to get in. Like, sir, this is Rite Aid. Just <laughs> trying to get my prescription. <laughs> $75 <laughs> and bring me back a thrifty bring me back a thrifty <laughs> yeah you crazy skinless people can you imagine if skinless people were around and you go to your local coffee shop and you know you're trying to get your daily latte here comes skinless Stan he's like hey here's your change girl you're like ooh Stan where are your lips and eyelids uh, just toss me the latte I don't want to touch dermis today no 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 <laughs> Sorry, Stan. <sighs> uh, speaking of speaking of skin, I, I actually I have a seven inch scar on my left knee. Uh, I got it because uh, the weight of being a black woman in America was so much that my knee gave out. I was uh, I was carrying around that oppression. My left knee was like started humming one day. It was like. Hmm, 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 hmm. Like, why do you sound like Mahalia Jackson and Harriet Tubman? I need you to move. I need you to move. Yeah. I, I, was, I was in an accident, but the oppression didn't help. Uh, and uh, so, right, so that the brakes failed on a scooter I was riding. And I want to tell you all the details. I, I, I'm all right. I'm a UVA, right? Okay, yeah, me too. Okay, VA. We right here. All right. I will talk later. Uh, but yeah, I know so... I want to tell you all the details, like whose fault it was and the company, but I have a white lawyer, and uh, white lawyers always give their black clients the same advice. Please stop talking, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to get you paid. I'm trying to get you paid. Because black people, we get a white lawyer, we're like, and another thing. <laughs> and you know what else? They're like, please, shh, 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 shh. So, that's all I can say. Uh, I, uh, I do have an afro. I do have an afro. Um, yeah, thank you. Shout out to Natural Hair. I love having an afro um, for you because it's free. Uh, that's it. There's no, no deeper reason. People always ask me, like, when the Black Lives Matter marches were happening, all these white women were like, oh, my gosh, your sister, you tell them with that hair, okay? You stick it to the men. I'm like, girl, I'm on a budget, okay? If you saw my bank account, I should be bald, all right? I actually think, you know, I actually wish that people's hairlines receded at the rate of their lives, okay? That'd be real convenient for women, right? You meet a guy and his hairline's down to here, and you're like, he's like, hey, beautiful, I got a house in St. Bart's, and uh, I got a yacht, and uh, no kids, and I'm healed. And I'm like, before you know it, his hairline's down to his toenail, you're like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Dating has been more difficult uh, after my knee injury. Because I think because men see that I have one injured knee, they can get me for half off, right? <laughs> you know, dudes always love to get your coochie for a discount, right? They're like, oh, let me get your coochie. Here's two hot Cheetos. Just give, it, give me your body. Just... So. <sighs> yeah. I'll give you an example. I actually was... Um, 
I was at my house right after my surgery, and this guy hits me up. He said, hey, beautiful, I'm, I'm sorry about your accident. I want to come and smoke you out, right? And where I'm from, when somebody says they want to smoke you out, that means they want to bring their weed they purchased to you and get you high off their supply. Thank you. The translation ain't changed, okay? Even the white people are like, yeah, that's the rule. That's the rule. It's the rule. <laughs> So he shows up at my house with blunt wraps and no weed, right? And then he put his feet on the coffee table, pulled out Panda Express. I was like, sir, you're not gonna get diabetes on my couch with no weed, okay? <laughs> and feet on the coffee table is, and I brought weed to you. You know, that's a thing, that's a privilege. Your feet belong on the carpet where the exit route is, all right? So I'm kicking him out. He's all like, come on, baby, you know you put your lips on this, you'll put your lips on this. I'm like, sir, I want to put my lips on indica, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to put my lips. No, no, no. <laughs> and it's not even just with weed, too. It's with alcohol. Like, I mean, I was out, and then I remember this guy came up to me. He said, hey, gorgeous, I want to get you a drink, whatever you want to drink. I love when guys say that because, you know, I like to call bluffs, right? So I said, all right, anything? I said, all right, Johnny Walker Blue on the rocks, right? And then he started sweating, kind of like I am right now. And uh, he was like, oh, okay, okay, I'll get you a drink. So he brings me a cup of something that looks like Johnny, tastes like gasoline, all right? You ever had some liquor so bad it burns your esophagus? You're like, is this from Shell? Uh, this cannot be from the bar. This can't be from the bar. So I told him, I was like, yeah, sir, I, this, is, this can't be Johnny. He said, all right, all right, you caught me, you caught me. That's actually well whiskey. And I said, well, I'm out of here, okay? <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> I was like, my knee healed in that instance. I was like, well, I gotta get out of here right now. Well, <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Hating. I, I do love men. I love men because men believe in themselves uh, under like any circumstance. <laughs> I respect that. But I do think when it comes to dating, right, that sometimes men's standards can be a little too high, right? Like, I have a homie, and I was talking to him the other day, and he said, man, if a girl want to be with me, right, man, she got to be a baddie, right? She got to be boom, boom, da-da-da-da. Have you ever noticed when guys describe their perfect woman, they always use Looney Tune sounds, right? <laughs> They're like, I wanted a boom, boom, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
I'm kicking it with this dude, and you know, we're getting hot and heavy, right? And then I'm like, okay, well, do you have a condom? And he hit me one of these. He was like, ah, 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 ah